Hey friends, Jeff here with Run Repeat, today reviewing the Brooks Cascadia 15 GTX. This is a neutral trail running shoe with a Gore-Tex treatment, perfect for wet and sloppy conditions, brought to you by the makers of Brooks Running, which are known for creating some well-constructed, durable running shoes. Now I've wanted to try on a, a pair of Cascadias ever since first learning about Scott Jurek over 10 years ago and I finally had the opportunity to put in my 50 mile review and that's what I'm sharing with you all today. Now I approached this review with three questions I had in mind knowing that it is a trail running shoe that has been one of the standard bearers of the footwear community for several years now. How will this shoe do as a daily trail running shoe? The second question I had was knowing that a lot of backpackers and long distance hikers nowadays have converted from the hiking boot to the trail running shoe, how would this shoe in particular do as a trail hiker? And the third question I asked myself when reviewing these shoes is with this Gore-Tex treatment, this GTX model, how will this handle the wet and sloppy conditions that are presented on the trail? So let's get into specifics here. Now out of the box, this shoe is not going to blow away any trail running fan just on looks alone. Here you are going to notice the ebony and red color scheme. You're also going to have accent colors of gold for some of the trim as well as the logo here. What I also like about this shoe itself is the moderate composition. So again, it weighs 11 ounces, which is again, right in the middle of the range. The stack height is pretty moderate, which means moderate amount of cushion. And then you're gonna have an eight millimeter heel to toe offset, which again is right about mid range for when it comes to trail running shoes. I love the upper construction. Brooks is touting a little bit of a change from the previous model of the, of the 14s. This is what's called a mono loop uh, mesh technology here for the upper, which provides for a lot more breathability and a quicker drainage if you find yourselves in some really wet conditions, which again, I really appreciate. You'll also note that you have some really durable laces, which I appreciate, never had trouble with them at all. And you also have a standard uh, universal gaiter loop system here so you can use just about any gaiters with these shoes if you need. The midsole of the shoe itself has some really neat technology including a new foam system for some more cushion which allows us to get on all sorts of conditions and terrains. You're also going to have a built-in rock plate which allows for a lot of rocks and boulders to be handled with ease and minimal uh, pain for sure. And you also have what they're calling a pivot system built into the midsole, which allows for the runner to experience just about any terrain that one can throw at it and feel secure and stable throughout that running or hiking experience. Again, all positive experiences. The outsole will show three millimeter lugs, which are pretty standard, which allows for the runner or the hiker to go in just about every surface. You've also got what's called the trail tech uh, technology. Again, no slippage on my accounts or histories. And so I was really appreciative of that as well because I have a tendency to fall on my face if I'm not wearing some really good secure footwear. Now you may ask, how did these shoes do in the first 50 miles? Well, the answer is they did really well. As I mentioned before, Brooks is known for creating some really well constructed, durable shoes and these are no exception. They were able to go on a variety of services that I took them on, whether it's the dirt trail, plenty of mud and dirt and dust, it can be plenty of water, even snow and ice. I was able to get these on just about everything over these first 50 miles and I was really impressed. The other thing that I noticed about them is that while they may not be the most agile or responsive of shoes on the market, certainly not the lightest or the fastest, they really did allow my feet to stay comfortable and cushioned throughout the running and hiking experience. This midsole technology really proved its worth. I felt comfortable 
and I felt cushioned and supported and certainly uh, well established as a foundation for my running and, and hiking. Now my one complaint I had with the Brooks Cascadia's 15s is that for some reason these shoes seem to tempt my feet to slide forward whether hiking or running. Now that could be a personal thing on my end, right? It could be because of my foot strike, it could be because of the, the shape of my feet. However, the one unfortunate part of this shoe experience was that it did cramp the toe box quite a bit because of that sliding sensation forward and which led to quite a few blisters, um, especially when it came to some steep downhill running and hiking. I did try to use a, a heel lock lacing technique to help mitigate some of that sliding, and it did help to a certain point. But again, I would have loved to have a little bit more room for my toes in the toe box, especially my big toe in particular. Now friends, as I said before, I approached this review with three questions in mind. The first is, is this a good daily trail running shoe? The answer is a resounding yes. As I mentioned before, I am happy taking these on just about every surface, whether it is through the dirt and gravel, whether it's through the scree and snow, or even on pavement, I felt comfortable running in these shoes. The second question I asked was, would this make a good hiking shoe for those hikers looking for a trail running shoe these days? And the answer also is yes. You're going to have plenty of cushion, which allows for those long days on the trail. You're also going to have plenty of stability, which is really appreciated if you're wearing a low cut shoe, especially with a backpack. So again, highly recommended. And the third question I approached today's review with was, Given the Gore-Tex treatment, the GTX part of this Brooks Cascadia 15 model, how would it hold up in the wet and sloppy conditions? Friends, let me tell you that I was able to cross through several ravines and, and creeks and rivers, uh, both walking and running. I was able to travel on snow and ice and sloppy conditions, and they held up really well. Now with any Gore-Tex treatment, and I've re reviewed a couple of these Gore-Tex shoes and boots before, they're not 100% waterproof if you're sitting in the middle of the river. However, when it comes to traversing some of those watery terrain, or whether it comes to running in the rain, in the muck, in the mud, I really do think that these shoes are gonna hold up really well for whatever you uh, bring these shoes out to experience. So again, friends, the Brooks Cascadia 15 GTX a resounding supportive yes from me, uh, Jeff, uh, reviewing today's shoe. Also, I'd love to hear your comments and experiences with these shoes in particular. Feel free to leave them in the comment section below and share with others your experience of the Brooks Cascadia 15 GTX. Again, friends, this is Jeff Run Repeat. Love to see you out in the trail. And in the meantime, we hope you stay safe and enjoy the outdoors when you can. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Have a great day.